Okay, now I want to show you, suppose you want to make a homemade switch out of a metal piece and you want to solder a wire to the metal. This is a little more difficult because sometimes the metal is um, dirty and oily as, as this pipe strap is. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your area where you're going to tie the wire on. So I'd want to take some sandpaper and I would want to sand up to make it shinier where I was going to tie the wire on, get the oil and the dirt off. Clean it up as best you can. Then I would want to tie the wire on, much as I showed you when you're doing a regular switch. Try to get as tightly as you can before you solder. And then you're going to solder it the same way, but you may have to hold the heat on to the metal piece a little bit longer because the heat will want to get sucked off into the metal. So you may have to just be a little more patient and press on for a little longer time, more so than you would if you were just soldering two wires together. So I'm going to hold it on for a little bit and then try to start dabbing it and sooner or later you'll see it start melting and being pulled into the... This is harder. Just be careful not to touch your other fingers to the soldering iron. And for this, you might have to melt a little more solder on just to make sure it sticks well. Then blow on it, put your soldering iron back, and then make sure it's a tight joint. But be careful like touching it, make sure it's cool before you grab onto it, and that looks like a good soldered joint. Now, when you're done with your soldering iron or any other hot tools, please make sure you um, unplug them before you store them. You've got to let them cool off for a few minutes before you store them 